Today at ChemTools we're going to look at the R1. This is a multi-purpose thin film lubricant. The uses for this stuff is endless. Let's quickly take your metal workbench. You could spend ages just cleaning it all up only for it to rust up again. So spray down a quick film of R1. See after you've given your bench a quick spray down, just give it a quick wipe over. It's going to protect your metal workbench or your welding bench for a long time. Saves you trying to clean all that rust up and grind it off later. Now if you've got a bit more rust built up on it, we're going to spray the rusted area and we're going to leave that rusted area for about 10 minutes with a quick wipe down of a scour pad. We'll see how that comes out. You can purchase R1 in a number of different ways. You can buy it in 20 litre drums, 5 litre drums, handy 1 litre drums, or if you want to go with your aerosols, your 300 gram aerosol can, which you'd most likely have in your workshop. Now this is the one I really love. So this is a 150 gram aerosol can, nice and compact. Throw it in your tool bag, your toolbox. Keep it up in the house for those little emergencies. Or under the seat or that little hideaway in the car. Perfect for everyday applications when you need to whip it out and use it. Right, let's have a quick look at some of the applications that we can use the R1 for. We'll have a quick look at tools. There's nothing wrong with these pliers whatsoever, work perfectly, but we're starting a little bit of surface rust. We want this tool to stay as good as it was the day it was bought. If you've got tools in good nick and you use them a lot and you don't want them to get damaged, you want to protect your tools. So all we're going to do Quick light spray of R1, throw it straight back in your toolbox, in my case, straight back into my welding bag, and they will last a lifetime. All right, let's have a quick look at a rusty bound up tool. Now this tool here, I can't open any wider than that. It's all bound up, and surface rust has got the better of it. But there's nothing wrong with this tool. It's a good quality tool, and the last thing you want to do is throw away good tools. So we'll give it a quick spray of R1, we'll work it up, and we'll see if we can free this tool up and bring it back to life. You can see the R1's penetrated right into those circlip pliers. But so the more we work this tool, you can see the more rust has come out of here. Now that we've cleaned this tool up, freed it up with the R1, throw it back in the tool kit, and I'm sure this tool will end up outlasting me. Righto, so that area that we sprayed with rust on the workbench, we've left that for about 10 minutes. We're gonna hit it with a scour pad and we're gonna see how that comes up. Well, look at that. You can actually see that it's dissolved all the rust off, left it for 10 minutes, quick scour pad, give it a wipe and it's actually cleaned and removed that entire rust pocket. That's amazing. R1 can be used for a range of applications. It's a lubricant, it's a penetrant, and it also displaces water. So it's perfect for protecting tools, workbenches, removing rust from metal, cleaning metal surfaces, Removing small oil spots on concrete. Freeing up those rusted old tools. Freeing up stubborn little zippers. And of course, getting rid of that annoying little squeak that you hear in a door hinge. Righto, so today we've been able to give you some quick demonstrations of the applications that R1 can be used for. But it doesn't stop in your home or your small workshop. This stuff goes beyond. So we've got farming, industrial, railway, defense, construction, automotive. So I encourage you guys to give R1 a go and share some of the uses that you guys have come up with.